Indian chess is filled with many talented youngsters and one of them here I'm going to talk about today is Mohammed Imran. He is just 13 years old, born in 2009 and we are going to look at his game from the Sunway Sidges which is happening right now in Spain in the fifth round where he took on a strong Spanish GM uh, Narciso Marc Dublan. And Mark Narciso Dublan is someone whom I have also played against. I have lost to him before. He's a he's a very uh, good player. And uh, just to let you know uh, a few things before we get going. Imran is currently on three and a half points out of five. He won that game and he has uh, he's gaining 34 ELO points in this tournament. The Sunway Sidges is a very strong tournament with many, many world-class players taking part. Yu Yangi is the top seed and we have 34 players above the rating of 2500. After five rounds, we have an Indian in the lead. It is Karthikeyan Murli who is on five out of five. And we have also few other Indians who are doing very well. Abhimanyu Puranik, Arvind Chidambaram, Aditya Samant, uh, Adiban. They are all on four points. Even Sankal Gupta. And uh, here are a few pictures. You have Vasili Ivanchuk playing there. And we also have Hans Niemann who is taking part. There's uh, Karen Gregorian in this picture. And the beautiful thing is that you're playing right uh, ahead of the beach. Which makes this tournament sort of a dream destination for everyone to play. Okay, let's get to the game. And then I'll tell you more, a little bit more about Imran later. So the game is a very beautiful one and that's why I chose it and it was not live. So this game was sent to me by this boy and I analyzed it and I was simply floored by the brilliant moves that he made. You have to guess those moves on some occasions. So let's get it cracking. E4 by um, Narciso Dublan. C5 by Imran. He plays the Sicilian. F4. Now I generally i'm of the opinion that here d5 is the best move and f4 is not a very sound way to play uh, the point is that if your opponent plays e5 then you can go for a french defense like setup with your bishop already outside the ponche you know when you play e6 your bishop is outside it um so but there's this one line which i just wanted to show just in case someone plays this against you you can go knight f6 trying to recover the pawn and if they play c4, now a very important move here for black is, try to think, e6. And the moment you take, bishop takes, the knight comes out and black is doing very well. Okay, Imran played e6, which is also a good move. Knight f3, he went d5. White played d3 and white is actually hoping that black falls for take, take, take. And falls for is a little bit strong. But if such a position is reached, white is doing very well. You know, you play c3, king uh, c2, and it's pretty good. But he went knight c6, c3, knight g7, bishop e2, knight g6, castles, and Imran put his bishop on d6, which was perhaps not the best way to play e5. Bishop c7 and opponent played d4. I was expecting him to actually take here, take here and continue with castles. When after something like knight c3 or bishop e3, white is clearly for choice. You know, white has space, very good position. So what did Imran do here? He went castles directly. I was thinking to myself, what is his idea if white takes and do, uh, Mark took on c5? And here's your question. What do you play here with black black to play important moment of the game two moves make sense but one move is very very nice okay if you played f6 i'll give you the point because that is a good move you are breaking the center but i like what uh, imran did you know what he did he played b6 and he just sacrificed the pawn very very interesting so after takes bishop takes king h1 now what did he do black to play so the thing that is working in black's favor is his lead in development he has two pieces out uh, here two knights bishop this bishop can come out and so it makes sense to open up the position and he went f6 very good e takes and queen takes f6 and this is where it seemed like okay the position is uh 
getting a bit tense for white especially because imran is threatening the f4 pawn but here dublan uh, Ma mark had to be careful and uh, he made a bad move he played g3 defending that pawn very natural that pawn was hanging but we'll come to it why that is bad a good move here would have been f5 if you take e takes f5 your d5 pawn is weak queen takes d5 is hanging and if you play queen takes f5 then after knight d4 your queen is attacked and also the knight on c6 so that does not work you can still play this position with knight d4 rook f5 knight f5 but well you don't want to get into such positions g3 was a bad move and here imran went bishop b7 good move knight a3 and now he brought his rook to d8 i like this he is bringing everything in the center and after queen c2 what is the move that he played here now very logical move yes i think you would have got it by now the move is d4 and the bishop just opens up against the king very very good move okay white decided to go knight c4 now your move again black to play what would you do this next move is very very pretty and look at this d3 and what i love about this is the sort of follow-up because bishop d3 is forced now what do you play here as black? Because you needed to come up with this follow-up if you found this move. Yes, you sack. Rook takes d3. And now white must take uh, rook queen takes d3 because if you play knight takes b6 here, then rook takes f3 already and then there are trouble down this diagonal and black is winning. So, okay. He took. And now for your next move, what would you play here as black? black to play let's go i really loved this game from this like until now it's already been amazing but look at this knight c e5 what a move what a move okay here's the point if you take with the knight then i'll take back and now you can't take with the knight because it is pinned so you must take with the pawn and now a very important move because if you let's say take with a bishop, that is a bad move. I'll take queen takes, rook takes, rook takes. And although white is winning, a uh, black is winning here, white can still fight on, let's say, bd2. So the move here is actually queen takes f3. Rook takes, and now rook takes. And whatever you do, next move the rook is going to move, and you're going to get checkmated. It's very, very pretty, this sequence. And even if you sack your queen, that's a one hell of a pretty mate here. Okay. So that did not happen. He played the move queen e2. So Imran now uh, had two good moves here. He could have taken on f3 which is winning. Or he took on c4. Uh, Mark took back. And now your move again. What does black do? I think by now you know what's the key, key square here. Knight jump back to e5. Fantastic move. Queen is attacked, knight is attacked, you can't take here, this is hanging. And so he played queen e2 and now uh, Imran took, took. And again, the final move which is a very pretty one, black to play. What did he do? So move he played was queen e5. <laughs> Fantastic move. Really liked how he just finished it off. If you can't take with the uh, queen by the way, because bishop f3 is mate. And if you take with the pawn, then we know uh, rook takes f3 is already game over. So, I think he could have continued the game with bishop e3 here. But after takes, takes, takes here. I can even take on f3 and be a piece up. But g5 is just very clinical. Wanting to go g4. And white is uh, has to play h3. And now maybe h5 king h2 takes takes gf4 and you are winning so a great game here by imran after queen e5 uh mark narciso dublan res resigned and the 13 year old youngster managed to beat this uh strong spanish grandmaster and what is also very nice is that 
Imran is someone whom we just supported before he left for his trip. He played in Elo Bregat Open and after that he went to Sunway Sidges. Uh, and uh, here's we actually he, he didn't have a laptop and he was given a laptop. This one uh, which costed 83,000 rupees and it was sponsored by Help Chess Foundation. This comes from the fund uh, sponsored by Suhani Shah. If you remember that COB comedians over the board gang war was won by Susha squad and they had mentioned that they would donate their prize fund out of which Suhani donated 1 lakh rupees of her prize fund to the Help Chess Foundation and this amount went to for the laptop of uh, Imran and he managed to make good use of it. He's preparing with it. We've also given him Chessbase 17 and Mega Database to prepare. And the youngster is doing well. We hope that he continues and continues playing this wonderful chess. For now, I wish him the best. This is Sagasha signing off. Bye-bye.